All right, guys, we're at ICAST in the Vibe 2019. Booth. Yes, and now I finally got Josh. I've had to wrangle him because he's been busy. It's, uh, it's a busy morning already. <laughs> it's been busy two days, hasn't it? Oh, my it? God. Three days. Three days. Some yeah, days. Keep track of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're talking about is the new Shearwater 125. And I know that you guys have been waiting for weeks. Some of you guys have been waiting for months uh, on information on the Shearwater 125. Before we jump into this real quick, I have to say, when you said you're about to put your jersey on, you went full on Jamberry jersey, man. I love that this. That is rocking it, dude. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I had it. to show the Jamberry boat in the back, right? right? That's it. You went full on Jamberry, yeah, dude. That's I don't awesome. think they wanted me to wear it until I put it on. They're like, oh yeah, you can wear it. Keep it on. Okay. All right, so let's, yeah, let's jump into it. Yeah, absolutely, because this is it's, it's amazing. It's, I, well, thanks. I this think you thought a, about everything. I really this did. has been a, uh, a two-year project of ours, and the mission of this was to design a boat that was optional. It gave you all the options. I didn't want to tell the kayak fishermen how they're supposed to fish. I don't want to tell them, like, you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way, you have to pedal with this or, or motorize it with that. Uh, this boat's all about giving you options and upgradability. Um, we're not forcing people to buy a drive with it uh, out the gate. You can buy it as a paddle version and upgrade it uh, along the way as you, as you want. Um, yeah. That's great. I, I like that if, you, if you're that person that don't want to drive or if you're going to buy the drive next year or two years from now, there's so many options that could come with that console. Right. You know, maybe. No, Maybe we have a lot of pod options yeah. in the works. So, um, yeah. yeah, this is this boat's going to be very pod centric. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about that those pods in a second. Yeah. Uh, we'll, let's just do the quick highlights on it. So, um, yeah. yeah, the top five. We'll do top five. So, the top five feature of this boat is that it is uh, paddleable, uh, pedalable, and uh, motorable. And the motor uh, company we partnered with is Bixby. Uh, they make a really awesome compact jet motor. Uh, Oh, there you go, big speak. <laughs> Great company. So we've worked with them on designing a, um, a, a new rudder that has the big speed mount built into it. So that rudder, um, here, actually, let's come back here. Just, let's just walk this real quick. So you see over here, this is the paddle version of the rudder. There's four bolts on the bottom here. This end cap comes off. And then when you install the motor on the bottom, do you turn around real quick? Yeah. That's the big speed. Uh, that was like a few minute install. Yeah, it's about about five minutes or so you can get that uh, the motor installed. Hey, and this so, go ahead. I'm interrupting you. So uh, I, I jumped. That's fine. With this, with, we installed this power pole yesterday and with a pair of vice grips and an uh, Allen in like what? Like 10, 15 minutes? 10, it wasn't long at all. It's really, really easy to install because you have an access hole here. You take that cover off, reach in, do whatever you need. I'm sorry. Now I know hey, you were jumping around. I did. I jumped around. I'm sorry. That's me. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Man, I'm hard to keep track of. You like here, and there, here, and there. All right. Um, I don't know. Well, we were talking about the rudders here. Oh, so the motor. So it comes. The the Shearwater 125 comes with the the Vibe Gravity rudder, which has the uh, basic mount on it. But we're also going to have a Bixby pod um, for the front. So if you don't want to rudder mount it, you have the option of putting it up there. I like that. Who else does that? Yeah. So you might ask, why would I do that? Why would I, if I have the option of putting the motor on the back, why would I buy the big motor MotorPod up front? So this boat is, again, it's about the options. Uh, by having your motor up front and your battery up front, I said battery, battery, right. your battery up front. They're used uh, to hearing me talk. There you go. <laughs> um, that front loads your weight. So if you have too much weight in the back of a kayak and you're pushing it with a motor, you start plowing water. Your, your kayak sits like this and you're pushing water around. And when you get that weight up front, you get that, the, uh, the battery and the motor up front and you trim the, the seat. This seat's trimmable. You can slide it forward. Whoops. I think it's tight down here. There's hands on the sides. You can trim your weight and get it exactly where you need to be to keep that uh, kayak neutral, and then I'll give you more battery efficiency and more speed on your motor. Swiss. So, awesome. we're talking the top five. The option, that right there is uh, one of them, that it comes paddle version, you can drop the motor on there, we'll have the X-Drive um, announce, uh, or we'll show that off in a, a 
in a couple weeks, possibly about a month or so. Uh, we didn't quite get our pod ready for iCast, uh, but that pod, um, with the extra iPod, it's simply a, a thin uh, a pod. Yeah. So you can drop in any drive that you want uh, into that thin pod. Or any thin based drive into that thin pod. Let's see, number two. Number two on the list, uh, let's go with. I I'm like. Gonna, go I'm ahead. Gonna, I'm going to go with C. Right? Yes, the C is. The C. Yes, I'll, absolutely. Okay. This boat is about bringing standability in a kayak. Uh, I hate using the to a new level. There's a lot of great kayaks that are designed specifically for standability. Yes, yes. This boat is designed to be versatile to the nth degree. Yeah, I like that. But when we're talking standability on this guy, this seat has four seating positions. It has a low, a recumbent low. This is the neutral high, and it's got a recumbent high. That recumbent high is going to come into play uh, to be really handy when you have the foot pedal drive uh, in there. That gets your legs up a little bit higher, so your knees aren't, you know, in your throat. When it's in the neutral position, we have the sitting slash standing perch on the back. Now there's been a little bit of uh, people asking like, well, how are you gonna get up there? You know, here's the thing. Not everyone is gonna climb up here and stand on this thing. You know, I can stand on a two by four, so the rumors say. Uh, you can, I'll, <laughs> um, I'll fist with you. you yeah, can. so, uh, but I know me personally, I. I won't use this as a standing purse all that often unless I'm down in the uh, you know keys or somewhere like sight fishing yeah, you know for bones or, or for tarpon. Uh, but where it comes in really handy is for the guys that can't stand in a kayak comfortably. Those guys, you paddle to where you want to fish, you just rock forward a little bit, lower that seat, and now you can sit on it. And now you're sitting up 15 inches high. If you look at it, it's the same height as our 20 quart cooler on the back. So this is more for just a quick way to sit up higher, or even if you are a guy that can stand, but you're fishing in some choppier water, yes. and you still need to get some of those angles, like you're trying to you know, get any branches, and you need a little bit better angle to skip or something. Getting, being able to sit up here really quickly and easy in choppy water I love it. is one of the major options here. The other thing is uh, the standing perches. We've seen standing perches on kayaks before, but we wanted to make sure everything was accessible. We're all about accessibility and making things easy and handy. So from the sitting position, all you have to do is stick your feet on the gunnel, grab the stand-up assist lease, pull yourself up, and now you're standing. This gets you about four and a half, five inches taller uh, off the deck. Yeah, and your feet's out here, so it's even more stable. Right. Gotta be. Yeah. Which brings us to talking point number three, hull shape. Uh, what this boat's about, this is a 12 and a half foot boat. It's 35 inches wide. And uh, we know the trend lately has been, um, you know, cathedral halls and tri halls that really maximize that stability. And those are awesome hull shapes. They do just that. For us, we went with a, a traditional U-Haul shape. Here, we can drop down in here. We went with a U-Haul and a really sharp keel. So this keel is designed to slice water. It wants to cut, this boat wants to go somewhere, and keeping a U-Haul on it means that you, it's it's stable. Uh, oh yeah. It's standable. It's gonna be so fast. It's gonna cut. It's gonna cut like butter. And this U-Haul shape, it keeps a shallow draft, a fairly shallow draft on this boat. So even though we have a sharp keel on this boat, the boat's still maneuverable. I'm ready to jump in on something. Are you jumping in on something? Because I got number four ready. Is it the rod? Which one? The rods. Laying down. Yeah. That. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. So number four of our uh, top features on the Shearwater is that we went with four of everything. Uh, you know, when we were designing this boat, you know, we're used to seeing two flush mount rod haulers on a boat, two tackle tray slots, uh, two horizontal uh, rod stagers, and we realized, you know what, we have space for four, four of everything. And especially on the horizontal, uh, I like to go offshore fishing and I, uh, offshore kayak fishing, and I usually take four rods with me. I've got my sabiki for jigging up bait, Absolutely. I've got my casting rod, yeah. I got my free line, and I got my weighted line. And I want my rods horizontal because there's always that risk of rolling in the surf. So when I've got them uh, in a flush mount, if I roll in the surf, I run the risk of snapping off a thousand dollars just like that. Especially coming in. That's when you roll right when you're coming in. So we've got four horizontal rod stages on the on the gunnels here. Uh, rod tip protectors up front. We've got uh, four tackle tray slots. The and the gunnel's back here. Oh, and this is a single hand operation. This is actually, a, it was a really simple concept. Uh, he just run a single bungee from the angle here, pop it out, dropping it back in. 
done. Now you don't have to reach across, bungee, unbungee, latch, hit a button or something like that. And then we've got four flush mount rod holders in the back. We kept them uh, in line this time, so when you have boats side by side, you don't have the rod tips colliding. You know when you're at the boat ramp and like everybody's I've rod done tips it. I've get done it times. I, never, I didn't know there was a solution. Yeah, it I've is. Done you it turn it in. So now they're uh, they're facing straight back. This lower flush mount rod holder comes in really handy if you're a river fisherman. Say you're you're a simple guy and you're only taking two or three rods with you. I usually only take two rods with me when I'm um, you know, hitting a river. When I'm fishing near trees, I can just stick my one of my rods lower and that gets it out of the way of trees and it keeps it out of the way for casting. So your back cast is entangled with that yeah. rod. Man, I don't... Oh, you know, real quick, uh, I'm gonna go back to an earlier point about the foot pedal drive. One of the questions that I've seen already is, because uh, you know, some of the pictures have been uh, leaked uh, online yesterday. Um, how do you uh, how do you steer it when you have the foot pedal drive yeah. in? That is a great question. Uh, it's with our mythical, imaginary uh, hand steering. Actually, no, to be honest, we we're gonna we we're gonna do this with telepathy. That's what it is. Yeah. You're gonna yeah the foot pedal drive in. It's gonna be a telepathy system. Uh, you just you simply game changer, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a real game changer. You're gonna think which direction you want to go, uh, and that's where you head. No. That's it. <laughs> yeah, right? No, seriously. Uh, so some of our, uh, our, this is a prototype version of the Shearwater. Some of our parts didn't make it in time for iCast. Uh, our hand steering mechanism is one of those things. Um, but I can walk you through it a little bit. Yes. We've seen other kayaks that you can convert from a paddle version to a pedal version. Uh, we wanted to make sure the install process was ridiculously easy. Um, I don't want you to buy this paddle version buy the X-Drive later on and have to spend three hours uh, you know, trying to install the thing and plumb, uh, plumb cables. Yes. So uh, these boats are going to come pre-plumbed with the steering cables going to the rudder already. So this boat functions from the foot pedal steering and from the hand, uh, the hand steering. Uh, it's going to be a left and right option. Uh, you're simply going to, when you install the handle, unscrew a cap, Drop the handle in, screw it down, and now it's hand steering. Done. You can move it to either side, you can buy another handle separately, be able to steer from both left or right. It's all about the options on this boat. Now what that does for you is, if you're the kind of uh, paddler that needs um, the opportunity to still paddle the kayak, like uh, versus pedal, if you're saying doing rivers and lakes, uh, or you're fishing shallow water and deeper water uh, on different trips, and you want to paddle it or pedal it, you can take the foot pegs, slide them all the way forward, uh, so they're out of the way of your foot pedals, and they still function. And if you don't want to deal with um, when you're hand steering, uh, your pedal sliding back and forth because you're steering with the handle, you can put a little bit of slack in the line, uh, and now the uh, the rudder, the the toe controls aren't going to move while you're hand steering. Did you follow that? I follow that, and I, th I love these pedals. I love the pedals. I love the boat. Well, thank you. You know, people. Everyone knows that. Everyone that knows me knows how I love the tandem. And I first walked to M5 and seen the tandem land in the floor, and I'm like, oh my God, that's my boat. And, yeah, and, yeah. And no, and nothing has been able to take that away. But when I seen this one, I said, uh oh, there's my boat. <laughs> so I love it. I'm so excited about it. So excited. Right, so we, did a, we did four. We did four features. Uh, fifth top feature. What was it? What's We're the, the same. What's the fifth top feature? I don't know. There's, you know. No, we're both uh, right. No. Um, There's so much on this boat, and you can look at it. And I, I, I looked at it and think I know everything, then I walk away and come back, and boom. There's something else I see. So let's do this. Um, this video is getting pretty long already. We thank you for your patience and uh, you know watching this whole thing with us. I'm gonna do a real quick. I'm gonna do a real quick walkthrough on some of the, the smaller highlights here. Um, we've all seen a, a removable electronic pods in kayaks before. That's nothing new or novel. Um, what we did with ours is we're actually including uh, mounting points, brass inserts along the bottom here. Uh, we only have two of them on this showpiece. Um, but that way you can mount your lower ends or your uh, hummingbird fish finder. They come with the brackets that fit this, uh, these uh, mounting points here. And your waterproof box stays waterproof. Um, 
Most other uh, removable boxes, you have that nice, awesome built box, but then you have to drill holes in the bottom of it, silicone it, and waterproof it uh, after the fact. We want this box to stay waterproof the whole time. And you know, and there's some people that don't want a fish finder. And then you've got this, a, a waterproof box that you can just use. Yeah, you throw your, your keys, your wallet, yeah. or whatever in it, you know, yeah. easy way to bring it back. And I like that. Or start. you get it and you yeah. might want, on a budget, get the fish finder next time. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I keep No, 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 just the idea, real quick, real quick. We, we can do, uh, uh, no. we can talk uh, about all the little uh, things yeah. for sure. Um, it has a, uh, a front storage well. It has the uh, flex top gear cover on it with a paddle slot, so it's a real quick paddle park. Uh, you get your fishing spot, slide your uh, your paddle knee there uh, instead of having to sit there and like bungee it into the side. It has the phantom grip handles uh, that we introduced in 2019. The fat phantom grip handles are just wide, comfortable. They have a heavy duty rubber on the bottom, comfortable grip. You have your rod tip protectors for the horizontal rod stagers. Uh, this is the paddle pod. The paddle pod has a nice large uh, cargo well in here. Uh, it has the magnet right here for holding uh, loose hooks or loose tackle. Top loading gear tracks on the front. We have a drawer underneath the seat. We've seen uh, drawers on kayaks before. There's uh, you know, three or four models around that have drawers. Uh, we added a cup holder to it. Um, we don't think you should have to buy a cup holder separately on your kayaks. So we went ahead and built that into the drawer. Moving on back here, the tank well is wide enough to fit a, a cooler sideways. We have the uh, top loading gear tracks on the back. And one of my favorite features on this boat, and I'm going to actually call this the number fifth out of everything that we talked about, is yes. this. We have a handle on the back, so you can grab it you know, from the side, you know, right here. Or, Michael, reach around the sides and uh, reach around it. Look, oh, a groove, look at that. Perfect. perfect. Everybody who's uh, dealt with loading and unloading heavy kayaks that are full of gear, you know what it's like to be the guy in the back where you've got that handle and you're trying to juggle that handle where you've got all this stuff in the boat. So we have these wide grips on the side. So now you can get a nice, wide, sturdy grip on that while you're carrying it. Yes. Honestly, I'm gonna pick that as my fifth top feature on this boat. I love that. Love it, love oh. it. Oh, and uh, the access, the, the access uh, plates. There's yeah. three access plates. One here, one in the middle. That gets you uh, inside to do your rigging, mounting power poles, lights, and so forth. And the sixth, I'm gonna go with the sixth, it's price. So before I get into the price point of this kayak, uh, most of you guys know that uh, we started this company five years ago uh, because we felt that premium kayaks shouldn't start at $1,500. They shouldn't start at $2,000. We believe with our heart of hearts that you can build premium quality fishing kayaks under $1,000. Uh, and we knew that uh, in a few years um, that the rest of the industry would catch up, that they'd do the same thing. And look around ICAST. This is ICAST, man. There's amazing kayaks under $1,000 from everybody now. And it's yes. fantastic. We love seeing these. We love seeing what uh, the other guys are doing and they're amazing boats. And it just shows that quality kayaks, quality uh, fish kayaks always could have been made for under $1,000 because we're all doing it now. Yes. So, you know the slogan, the um, we're not just changing the game, we're ending it. Here's what we're doing, here's what we're changing, here's what we're ending. Um, we've shown what can be done under $1,000. Now we're talking about the $1,000 to $2,000 price point. Now we're showing what can be done in that price point range and how much kayak you can get for under $2,000. And that's what we're doing now. We believe that we can walk down every uh, every level of what we believe is a, is a fair price point on kayaks. So this kayak's gonna come in at $12.99 for the paddle version. The pedal drive is gonna cost $5.99. Uh, if you buy it with a kayak, it'll be $17.99 for the pedal version and the paddle version together. And then you have the Bixby option. Uh, it'll be $1,000 for $9.99 for their battery and motor. And it, we included the um, uh, the Bixby uh, uh, rudder mount on here already. So you don't have to buy that, uh, spend that $1,000, and go ahead and spend another $200 figuring out how to mount it to your kayak. And you know, I'm the Bixby. If you watch me, you know I love Bixby and I love Bob too. I know, it's fun stuff. You've done a hell of a job. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Again, I gotta say, man, that Jamberry uh, jersey, dude, that is That's it. that is some fun That's stuff, it. man. Yeah. I need to get a picture of you next to Skipjack and Jamberry later we'll do on. That. All right. That's it, guys, and um, I'm sure we'll be talking later on.